This is a film about making your own fertilizer. Do you know that what we treat as waste can actually be used as a great crop fertilizer? We are talking about urine. This is Paya in Tororo District, Uganda. Here the land is intensively used and the soil fertility is low and declining. It is a big challenge. Most farmers cannot afford to buy chemical fertilizers and they don't have access to manure. As a result, yields have reduced over time with serious impacts on people's well-being. Here is the village leader, Osege Matias. We have a very big problem of uh, food insecurity. We are food insecure. We can no longer produce enough to eat and save for the future in case there is any drought or uh, natural calamity. And uh, another thing is uh, the poverty, the increase in poverty. Because in the past one could sell uh, cash crop and keep the food and take children to school. But now it is just impossible because the production has declined, we don't have what to sell, meaning the poverty level is in increase and it is really worrying. To increase crop yields, farmers in Paya have started to use urine to recover soil fertility. Something that we have come up with to help our farmers is uh, the urine fertilizer we found that uh, the urine from ourselves contain a lot of nutrients that can help our crops. Urine is full of nutrients that plants need to grow. The same ingredients as in chemical fertilizer and manure. The best thing about it is that urine is readily available and free of charge. It is a safe fertilizer that is very easy to use. By applying it in the garden, it brings the nutrients from the food we eat back to the soil. So how do you use urine as a fertilizer? It is a simple process in three steps. Collection, storage, and application. We start with collection. Urine can easily be collected within the household. Everyone in the family can contribute. One way is to simply urinate in a jug or bucket, which you then empty into a large container. Make sure to close the lid tightly every time. It is also possible to construct a simple collection system by digging a jerry can halfway into the ground. You then attach a funnel. By urinating into the funnel, the urine can be directly collected in the container. The second step is storage. When the container is full, take it aside. Make sure that the container is tightly sealed. This is to keep the nutrients in the container and to not let them disappear into the air. Store it for a period of at least two weeks. This is to kill anything that could spread diseases. Remember, if you follow this simple rule, using urine is a safe practice. The third and last step is application. During the rainy season, the urine can be applied as it is. If you use it during the dry season, it should be diluted with water. At least two parts of water to one part of urine. Make small furrows along the plant rows at a distance of about 10 to 20 centimeters. 
Then apply the urine close to the ground. Using a watering can makes the work easy. Urine should not be poured directly on the plants since it can burn the leaves. Immediately after application, cover the furrows. This is to prevent nutrients from disappearing into the air and to reduce any smell. Urine is a fast-acting fertilizer. To work effectively, it should be applied repeatedly. Different soils and crops have different needs, so you need to find out what amounts of urine and times of application work best in each case. A rule of thumb is that plants need most nutrients in their young stages. With maize, for example, start the urine application by the time of planting. When the seeds have germinated, apply urine in weekly doses over four weeks. Over the next four weeks, apply urine only every second week. Note that more urine does not necessarily increase crop yields, so be careful to not overapply. Make sure to always leave a period of one month between the last urine application and harvest. When handling urine, always make sure to wash your hands carefully with water and soap. And if possible, use protective gloves. When farmers in Paya tested urine fertilizer on maize, they found out that it doubled the yield. They also found out that urine fertilizer can be just as good as chemical fertilizer, or even better. They have now started to use urine on a range of various crops. In the beginning, many felt a bit embarrassed handling and talking about urine. But from seeing the effects on the crops, people got excited about the practice. This inspired others. More and more farmers in the village have now started the practice. Urine is no longer regarded and treated as a waste, but as a valuable resource that makes important contributions to food security and income. So this one, we have taken it up and the farmers are now using urine. In fact, we have increased our yields significantly. The production is now going up and people are very happy with the urine fertilizer. <laughs>